Now, I'll just light the fuse and boom! Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Now is when it counts. Hullabaloo. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Whoa! What a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. Hey! Aggressive little bugger. As long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. It already has plenty of oil stains. As long as the hatch is closed, I can't put a sock in it.
Why? Those are... It already has plenty of oil stains. Not a chance. I need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. This is just impossible. I think I'm getting dizzy. Are you suffering from vertigo, Miss Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? All of the Organon are involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysium, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Go. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! Nothing's happening. Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone! Here? Gone! Uh... Uh-uh. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder.
What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax for the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting <coughs> draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor's about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. <laughs> yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No... Really? Let me go first. Listen, Rufus. A minute ago, that was a nice little joke. But now, it's half annoying. And half sad. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. The girl belongs to me! That'll be determined by the mayor. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone... <clears throat> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. How does this waiting number thing work? 
Do I really have to explain that to you? <clears throat> Did you fall on your head as well? Yes, actually, but I was able to roll with the punch. Well, obviously you started rolling too late. The thing over there is the waiting number dispenser. You receive a waiting number. You just take one. And then you wait until the number comes up. <coughs> your number. Hold your horses. Not so fast. How am I supposed to take notes like that? Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... your number comes up. No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. I'll skedaddle. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well... How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell. And I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing.
Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Rufus? Let me think. Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. No, I don't think I got your key. Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel, Wenzel, Wenzel. No, I don't think I got your key. Tony? Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? How does that detonation plan of yours work again? Oh, it's very simple. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. Right, thanks. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. <laughs>